<laughs> okay, back to exploring. That must be the table. Right. That influential politician comes here. Why don't we have a seat at the table next to it and wait for him? I'll go. He may become guarded if we go in a big group. Wouldn't it be odd with just one girl sitting there, though? Does someone want to come with me? That was my intention from the start. I mean, dude, it's a restaurant. What are you, a preschooler? <sighs> I was wondering why you were so excited about this. <sighs> why isn't anyone asking me to do this? All right, we're going in. Everyone else stay nearby. I'll give the signal when the time is right. Man, what should I eat? You can't get full off of food in a palace. He's as dumb as ever. Uh, I can't read this. I'll have the sautéed foie gras, a salad garnished with truffles, and roasted lamb, please. I can't believe you can order so easily like that. Say, ain't we kinda young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? They seem to be major figures in the political and financial worlds. On whose permission are you sitting there, brats? Whose? Uh, I don't see any reserved sides or nothing here. It'd be a nuisance if you'd make a racket next to my table. I wish to dine leisurely. Children like you who are simply hungry should leave. What was that? Skull, be quiet. Sorry. I apologize for our discourtesy. If you understand, then go home. Excuse me, but might you be Mr. Oe? Indeed I am. This will be an impudent request, but would you provide us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? From the looks of it, you appear to be minors. Why do you need an introduction? We wish to be granted an audience with him. His political ideology resonates so much with us. Of course, the same can be said about you, Mr. Oe. You have quite the silver tongue for one so young. Not that I mind it. Are you a high school student? Yes, sir. Speaking of high schools, I've heard that some principal somewhere kicked the bucket. He supposedly tried to leak Mr. Shido's name. Had he simply obeyed, he could have remained in the upper echelons. To think he would cast all that away. An elite such as myself can't even fathom why someone would do such a thing. 
If you pledge your loyalty, you're given the honor of selecting those who would have mental shutdowns. Did you ask Mr. Shido to trigger a mental shutdown in someone as well? Hmm? Ah, more or less. Considering your caliber, I would assume that the target must have been someone quite important. <laughs> important? No. The target himself was nothing that impressive. Oh, you must be being modest. You recall the subway accident early last spring? The one I had targeted was that engineer. That was you? It was to take out the president of some company and a diplomat who sided with current government. I see. That was very useful, Mr. Owe. Hmm? Actually, my sister is a prosecutor at the public prosecutor's office. I could pass on what you just said to her. How about it? Won't you give us a letter of introduction? Is that a threat? Who are you two? The letter of introduction, please. Don't get cocky, brats. I'll never give you one. Looks like you have one, though. Well, guess it's time to use brute force. Guys! The opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. Let's go. There! Persona! The opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless! Awaiting orders! Using this! That's our queen! We got a letter of introduction! Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Fine. In any case, it turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. Up until Kaneshiro's palace, cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No, that Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hmm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Yes, of course. I will continue accepting them, even after I am inaugurated as Prime Minister. <laughs> as expected from you, Mr. Shido. You are truly a reliable man. And in return, I only ask for your continued support. Standing up to the world does require money. Of course. I'll make sure to prepare compensation as thanks for your help in cleaning up. 
the incident with that accident in spring was very beneficial. This is all thanks to you, sir. If the study of cognitive science progresses, I believe it's possible to increase the target range. <laughs> I bid you good luck with that endeavor. I hope you will continue to assist us. <laughs> hey! world is weak here. There may be a safe room close by. This place looks safe.